This is called That's Not Funny. What do you mean this is called This Not Funny? I want to laugh, Mr. Hegarty. You must make me laugh, otherwise I shall not listen. Well, I'm telling you that you don't know anything about this story and you might well laugh at some of the things that happen in this story. But this book is called That's Not Funny and it's by Adrian Johnson, who is the author and the illustrator as well. And we know that because his is the only name on the front cover. This is Alfie here, and he's the little boy of our story. And he is laughing at the moment. He is laughing at this banana skin because banana skins are notoriously slippery. And this man is about to step into it and slip slide away and possibly fall and hurt himself. Alfie knows this and he is laughing about it. Laughs Alfie. Terrible, really. Let's find out more in this story. Alfie likes to laugh. <laughs> in particular, he likes to laugh at other people's misfortune. Well, that's not very nice, is it really? My goodness me. Hang on, I saw something else that was very important to this story, and it's down here. This is Mr. Swiss, and he is a rather lovely mouse, and he is very important to our story, but we'll find out more later. Alfie laughs at his grandpa all the time. <laughs> grandpa is settling down to his breakfast, and he's got a nice big bowl of cornflakes, and he's drinking some tea, but pfft, he's just spat out his tea because Alfie has swapped the sugar bowl with the salt. And that means that Grandpa has put two teaspoons of salt into his tea, stirred it in, drunk it down, and it tastes foul. <laughs> <laughs> Alfie's a bit of a trickster, and he's not very kind at times. Poor Grandpa. One Saturday, when Grandpa said, Fancy going into town? Well, lovely question with a question mark. Alfie said, Oh, yes! He says it enthusiastically. You can see that by the exclamation mark. There'd be a lot of things to laugh at in town. Mm, Alfie, steady, be careful. Everyone's got ready to go into town now. There is Grandpa. There is Alfie. There is Mr. Swiss. Mr. Swiss is rather swanky, isn't he? He has got a bowler hat and he's got a um, briefcase and he has got an umbrella and he is wearing a suit too. I think he's a town mouse for sure. Hmm. On the way to the station, Alfie chuckled when a mean looking dog Chase the postman down the street. Here, get off of my letters. Look at that. Squealed Alfie in delight. Isn't that awful of Alfie to do so, that poor postman? Outside the palace, that's Buckingham Palace to you, that's where the Queen lives, I've been there of course, he giggled when one of the guards wearing its Busby, that's the hat they wear, Busby, you say that, Busby, yes that's right, tripped over Mr. Swiss, <whistles> oh, me news out, <laughs> you bumped your nose, <laughs> Well, Alfie, that's not very kind because that guard has hurt his nose and he's going to have to have a nice big plaster on it. Good grief. In the park, he laughed a rackety laugh when a jogger jogged straight into a tree. Boom! Oh, oh, my head! <laughs> you banged your head! <laughs> delight. How very unkind.
outside the department store, he cackled gleefully when a window cleaner accidentally soaked a tourist. So the window cleaner is somewhere up here. His bucket falls down straight onto the tourist's head. Splosh! Oh, I'm all wet. Sorry, mate. <laughs> You're all soggy. <laughs> You're all soggy. <laughs> Well, Alfie, I don't think that's very nice because now he's going to have to dry out somewhere and he doesn't look very pleased about it at all. What a funny day, <laughs> said Alfie. Well, I can't see why you find it so funny, said Grandpa. On the way home, Grandpa had an idea. Let's go to the circus, Grandpa said. Now that will be funny. But Alfie wasn't so sure. Mm. He sulked all the way to Barry Manchego's big top of big cheese. Well, that's not very sporting, is it? Alfie watched the acrobats, but there wasn't even a sign of a giggle or a cackle or a chuckle out of him. Mm. He was not impressed. Oh, let's go and see the clowns, said Grandpa. That will make you laugh, yes. Elephants that way, uh, cheese that way, acrobats that way, clowns, oh, this way, that's nice. But Mr. Swiss had his eye on something else. Holy Elental, it's the world's largest cheese! Ooh! Before Alfie could stop him, Mr. Swiss had vanished. Where's he gone? Mr. Swiss! Mr. Swiss! Mr. Swiss, where are you? Mr. Swiss raced across the big top and passed Oberon the elephant. This is Oberon here. He's rather huge, isn't he? He's got a tiny little hat and an umbrella. Now, elephants are supposedly afraid of mice and when they see them, they trumpet and jump up into the air. So you can guess what's coming next. Woo! Come back, Mr. Swiss. Oberon jumped so high he nearly hit the roof. <laughs> then Oberon began to drop. <gasps> oh, no, look where he's dropping. <gasps> right onto Alfie. Splat. The audience saw the whole thing. <gasps> there was a giggle. <laughs> A cackle, ha, 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 and a chuckle, hoo, 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 hoo. and they all exploded into laughter. <laughs> oh, look at that, that's so funny. There's an elephant and a squished boy. <laughs> oh, how hilarious. <laughs> that's not funny, said Alfie. But actually, it was. Wouldn't you agree? I think Alfie, yes, got his comeuppance there, didn't he really? Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. It means a malicious delight in the bad luck of others. Now we don't have an English word for schadenfreude, so we thought it would be a really good idea to borrow this word from the German. It's pronounced Schadenfreude. Why don't you try saying it? Schadenfreude. My turn, your turn. Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. Amazing, you are the coolest ever and you know it. The best children on the earth, on this planet as we exist. My goodness me, did you enjoy that story? 
Oh dear, poor Alfie. Well, I think it serves him right a little bit, really.